In this video, we are going to draw this two hole right plate in 3D. So you will on your own draw the ortho views. So your top front and right view. After you've done that, let's copy and paste this. So do that, control C. Okay, oh, escape. And then control V to paste this, move this over. Then I'm going to delete these center marks. This will just save me time when extruding, which is nice. All right. And then I'm going to select this drawing or these objects, and I'm going to first change them to 3D object. And then I'm going to explode them. I mean, not explode them, the opposite. I'm going to join. All right. Escape. Now we are going to show our workspace. So click this down arrow. Go to workspace to show our workspace. We're currently in the drafting and annotation workspace, which is used for 2D drawing. However, we are doing 3D, a 3D drawing, so we need to go to 3D modeling. Then I will change my view to Southwest isometric, like the PDF. Okay, and then let's, uh, we can keep it in this view for, or this visual style for now. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to extrude. We are going to select this object, the rectangle, hit enter. And then I'm gonna extrude it in the downwards direction by one, type one, to make my life easier. So hit enter. And then let's do this corner first. So go to line under draw. And I'm going to zoom in, click here down here and then to this place escape then you can see that these are all individual lines we want to make a 3d face so type in 3d face enter just click over your endpoints of the triangle okay then escape then when you hover over the triangle you'll see 3d face then go to extrude, click on this object, hit enter, and then just drag um, just wherever. So that's good. All right, and then we will go to solid subtract right here. I'll first select this big block, enter, and then I'll select that one, enter. Great. Now let's do these holes right here. We'll do this outer hole first and it goes down by 0.15. So we will go to extrude. It says select objects. So select this circle, two outer circles, enter. And then we want to extrude them in the downward direction by 0.15, enter. If you go click the 2D wireframe, you can see what this looks like. So realistic, you can see that right now we just have this big block. Okay, if we go back to our 2D wireframe, let's do that. And then we will go to this subtract again, solid subtract. First we'll click this block, enter, and then we'll click these two outer extrusions. Enter. You can't see anything here, but if you go to your realistic, you can see now there are these big holes here. So what we can do is actually extrude these inner diameter circles and then subtract them. So let's go back to our 2D wireframe. It's easier to click the objects in this visual style. So we'll go to extrude, select objects, we'll do this one, 
and this one, enter. We want to go in the downward direction. You could go actually further, but I'm just going to do one because I know the distance is one. All right. And then you can click your solid subtract. First, select this outer object, enter, and then we're going to select this, these two inner holes. Okay. Enter. And then if you go to your realistic, you can see that that is what your drawing should look like. So then you'll go to your layout, click on your 3D side view, unlock it, zoom out to find it, and then zoom in. Our scale should be one to two scale. However, I can still see parts of other um, views. So I will go to layers right here on these layers. I will freeze the viewports. I mean the objects for this viewport. So center line, hidden lines, ortho front, ortho side, ortho top. Okay. And then all of those views disappear for this viewport of our model space. Then I'll click out double check that the scale is correct, one to two, and then I will lock this viewport. Oh, I still have this one right here, the side view. Let me, so let me do that one more time. Side, layers, ortho, side. I forgot to do that one. All right. And then lock. And then I can change this to my paper space. And then you will fill out your information here.